Hey guys, okay, I have had these on for a week now. Obviously, they're <laughs> quite grown out, uh, but I wanted you to see how they wear. Um, obviously, I don't have any chipping. My tips are a little bit rounded now, but you know, that's just from using them for a week. Um, yeah, I have no lifting of anything. And I wanted to show you guys how to get these off. So obviously, they last for at least a week. I could definitely get more days out of these, um, but I have a bit of an addiction, so I am taking them off so that I can do something else. Um, so you don't need many things for removal. You need a file so that you can break the seal, kind of like when you're using a peel base, if you're familiar with those, um, and then an orange stick. I usually use my cuticle pusher just because I don't want to, uh, you know, blast through all my orange sticks, but... I mean, this is what you get in with the kit, so I'm gonna use this to show you how to take it off. So you just want to uh, break the edge seal like you would with a peel base, so just butt up against your side. And just do a little file around that way. File your free edge, because of course you capped that. Oh, and full disclosure, I do have a gel top coat on here, uh, just because I knew I was gonna be wearing them for a quite quite a while um, and I wanted them to stay shiny as shiny as they could um, they do they are shiny and do stay shiny without a gel top coat but I always kind of just feel like I need to do a top coat for a manicure to be complete so I did uh, but again you don't have to use a gel top coat I just do All right, so once you can see like the line of demarcation where the strip starts in your nail is, uh, that's kind of good enough to get started removing. If you start removing the way I'm about to dry and you're having a bit of trouble, you can just soak your nails for three or four minutes after you've filed in some warm water and that will really help. I'm just gonna show you these two fingers on how to get it off because uh, you know, once you've seen one, you've seen them all. So I have a flat edge on these orange sticks for whatever reason, yours will be angled in the kit, um, but it doesn't really make any difference. So you just find that line of demarcation, like I said, where you can tell the strip starts and your nail is, and just kind of like work the cuticle stick underneath it. And it literally comes off like you've got peel base underneath it. And it is so satisfying when it comes off because it comes off in one piece. I've never had one not come off in one piece. Look at that. Now you can throw that in your bag of peelies if you're a weirdo and do that. I don't because I think it's just foul. Um, <laughs> but I know some people like collecting uh, strange items. And if that's what you like to do, then, you know, go right ahead. Let me know. I will mail my peelies to you if you want. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I won't do that. That's nasty. Yeah, so there's two off and that's it. No soaking, nothing. I have um, acrylic on underneath. But yeah, same deal on natural nails. They just, that's how they come off. And it's just so simple and so satisfying. Um, but yeah, I am going to be releasing a bunch of my other designs probably this weekend, kind of just whenever I get around to getting them all photographed and listed on the site. So that is a week wear of these gel nail strips. Um, no chipping, no lifting, still shiny. My edges are a bit dull, but again, you know, it happens. That's what happens when you wear your nails for that long. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's all there is to it. And I hope that you guys fall in love with them the way I did because they are so handy to have around um, to do a quick manicure, to do an accent nail. They're just, I love them so very much. And uh, I hope you guys do too. So I will put up a few pictures maybe at the very end of this little update video of the new designs that are coming so you can see. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.